today we are doing the first ever four-way box battle with a booster box of Crimson Crisis. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. Today we're doing a four-way box battle between Jobber, Cyber Knight, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rookie. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Rookie sent us all one booster box of Crimson Crisis, and we're going to be battling, and all the links will be in the description, so watch all four videos if you want to see who won. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know who won between me, Cyber Knight, Jobber, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rookie, and let's get into it. All right, let's open this booster box up, and as I'm opening it up, I'm going to let you guys know about the Reddit post that I or not reddit post but I'm talking about reddit and I basically want you guys to go to r slash rocks 34 and if you have an awesome pull that you made and recorded or an awesome pull that maybe you saw someone else have and got recorded but you think it deserves to be on the reddit post go check it out and go give it a good post so I can review those on live stream on twitch so go follow me at rocks 34 there so I think that's going to be a super fun thing to do if you guys want a chance to be on a video make sure you guys go submit your best pulls ever or a pull that you have seen before I think it'll be a lot of fun r slash rocks 34 for the reddit okay so now that we have done that let's get into this crimson crisis booster box this is a four-way box battle i'm sure everyone will pull a ghost rare because it's against me you guys know how it goes whenever i am the one that is uh you know facing someone in a box battle so i think this is going to be a fun time hopefully we can get that ghost rare which is of course the red dragon arch venus soul mode we have ivy shackles we got a verdant sanctuary morphtronic borden i don't know what we're going to pull in this let's move this over a little bit half or nothing we got a six scrolls of the samurai assault teleport Twin Sword at Marauder. We got a Star Blast. Wait, is there also a foil? I think you can get a foil in here as well. I believe you can. So that's a Trap Eater. Trap Eater is one of the weirdest looking cards you will ever see. Okay, on to the next pack. I think that this set came out around 2000 and... Let me guess. Okay, so if it was... 5D, Zexel came out around 2011. I would say this is 2010 would be my guess. Maybe even 2009. I don't want to get... Uh, you know, I'm not completely sure. It'll pop up on the screen. We got a Morphtronic mix-up. We got a B-list soldier. Assault counter. Trap eater again. Prevention star. Dark Tinker. I always love that guy. He's always funny looking. And Arcane Apprentice. And Nightmare Archfiend. So we don't know where the foil is going to pop up yet, but we will soon find out, hopefully. Also, we have a pretty cool video coming up tomorrow. Pretty epic. Pretty awesome. And I will not spoil it in this video, but tomorrow, make sure you come back to the channel and uh, make sure if you don't have that notification bell on, guys, go ahead and click that bell because that definitely helps out so you guys can see the videos when they come out and you can decide, you know, if you want to watch it then or not. And it also helps with my channel, which is awesome. We're trying to mix up Arcane Barrier and a Multiply. There we go. That's an awesome card. They decided to randomly print Multiply from the original anime in a 5D set for some reason, which is a little bit strange, but definitely very, very cool. I really like that card, though, so it's a nice pull. That is a very good start to our opening. So will we be able to defeat the other people involved? So make sure you guys go check out all those videos and especially Yu-Gi-Oh! Rookie because he provided all these booster boxes, which is not cheap. So I, you guys should definitely check out his channel. He has definitely sent us some awesome stuff in the past. So uh, if you have not, you know, seen those videos, go check those out. Assault slash dupe frog. Okay. I don't, that might be worth something. I can't remember. Fake explosion. The flip flop frog is in here as well. The telekinetic power well. Descending lost star. Star blast. And assault mode activate. Okay. Pretty cool. The assault mode's being activated, but now we need to activate it with a ghost rare. I guess that's the sign. You know, it's the end of that pack. Now the beginning of this pack, we're going to pull a ghost rare. If we do pull a ghost rare... That'd be pretty cool. I've never pulled this one. So, as you guys know, I have a very distant dream of pulling every Ghost Rare. Probably will never happen, but it's a it's a long shot dream. You know what I mean? Soul Counter, Trap Eater, Prevention Star added again. Dark Tinker, he's back. BES, Big Core MK2. The BES have more cards. What? Oh, and an Arcanite Magician. Nice super rare here. This is a very cool card. I love to see it. Okay, on to the next pack in the four box battle. This is pretty exciting. You guys can basically watch a third of a case opened if you guys go watch all these videos. So I don't know if these are actually from a case or not. He didn't give me that info. But if they, you know, you can just imagine they were Psychic Sword. So a pretty good chance somebody pulls a Ghost Rare. Ebon Arrow. We got a Flip Flop Frog. We got a Metaphysical Regeneration. Psychic Tuning. And... Oh, an ultimate rare life force harmonizer. Of course, it would be the harmonizer. I feel like I see this guy in ultimate all the time. You can really feel that texture, which is really cool. So we did get an ultimate, though. We don't have to worry about not getting one. That's always nice. Okay. Okay. Crimson Crisis. Let's go. 
Let's go. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic openings because literally that's what we do. It's epic openings. We have Assault Slash. We got a B-list soldier, Assault Teleport. There's also a PSA return coming up. I got one back, so I'm going to be recording it soon. Slingin, Vengeful Servant. I know you guys love those. Assault Mercenary. Alien, almost said acting alien overlord and the psychic sword. So every time we see aliens, we can say it like that. That's uh, yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, whoo, that was an interesting way to pronounce that. Let's go to the next one. Here we go Assault Slash, Morphtronic Map, Mysterious Triangle, the Ivy Shackles, Morphtronic Slangin, Vengeful Servant, Assault Mercenary. In Mado, what a classic. You love to see this guy. And a psychic sword is there again in the exact same spot. All right, all right. The booster box. It's blessing us with some decent pulls. I'll give it that. Uh, Crimson Crisis. Can we pull that Red Dragon Arch Venus Soul Mode? I believe that we can do it. I believe that we can do it. And by saying it multiple times, I, it's helping me believe even more. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to convince myself. Ebon Arrow. Flip Flop Frog. We got Metaphysical a little Regeneration. I can totally pronounce words. And uh, Debris Dragon, this is a good card for uh, Edison, okay. Morphtronic Mix-Up, yeah, oh yeah. That's right, let me know in the comments. Do you guys believe that we can pull a Ghost Share? Or just a Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode cover card at all? You guys believe that? We have pulled the Ultra Rare before. Also, I was gifted a Ghost Rare from this set, Unlimited, so it's in my binder right now. So we actually do have this card already, so we can't really complain if we don't get it. Because it was gifted to us by a viewer, which is amazing. Bore the Spear, Assault Mode Activate, Flying Fortress, Skyfire. And the Ebon Arrow. It's always the similar comments in the same spot. On to the next one. Here we go. Believe in the packs. The heart of the cards. Oh, the, these rip open in a very strange way. It's like the top part is difficult to open. And once you get to the actual pack part, it rips down very easily. So kind of a mixture of difficult to open. Indomitable Gladiator Beast. And then the Fighter Lele. Where is he? That's a different card. That's CRV, I believe. Desert Protector. There it is. It's episode two. Attack of the Clones. You love to see it. Assault Beast. Okay. Submarine Frog. All right. Just the frog. The frog himself. Let's go back to Crimson Crisis. Oh, that ripped open kind of weird. All right. Let's go. Assault Slash. Dupe Frog. Raptor Wing Strike. Fake Explosion. Flip Flop Frog, Telekinetic Power Well, Descending Lost Star, Wall of Thorns, and a Seed Cannon. Okay, the cannons have been seeded. That sounds a little weird. Okay, let's just keep going. Pretend like I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, man, these packs open so strangely. Okay. What shall we pull? The Dupe Frog. Half or nothing. Six Rolls of the Samurai, Telekinetic Power Well, Descending Lost Star, Assault Mercenary, Ivy Shackles. Wall of Thorns is added again, and isn't this like a Magic of the Gathering of a bunch of like walls? Okay. Super Soldier Nutrient, Super Solar, not Super Soldier. That's the Black Cluster Soldier. Okay, different thing. We still have a few packs left. A lot of packs, actually. Probably like almost half the box. Maybe like 10 packs, I would guess. Still a chance to pull Secret Rares, a Super... We've only pulled like three foils, so we got a lot to go. Trap Reactor. Is that Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi! Look, just in case you guys need uh, more internet. There we go. Mysterious Triangle, Seed Cannon. Crossword Beetle, Assault Mode, Assault Armor, and Assault Counter. Wait, was Wi-Fi even around like back in? I mean, I know it was around, but like it wasn't so much of a you know must-have in 2010, was it? Maybe it was. Maybe at that point it had become a must-have, but it's been around for so long at this point, I can't remember. For at least for me, Crossword. We got Super Soldier, Do Frog, Verdant Sanctuary, Morphtronic Board, Ivy Shackles, Morphtronic Slingin. Mike Who, the Magical Mist, and another Ultimate Rare, Blackwing Armor Master, double ulti box, whoa, okay, this is actually a good one, I think this Ultra Rare is actually worth money, so I know the ult or the Ultimate's gonna be even better, wait, how often do you get double ultis in this, I was not expecting that, okay, what, is, is it just me, or does this texture look kind of weird for some reason, that is insane, that's a great pull out of this box, we now have two Ultimate Rares, that was not expecting that because in these boxes you're only supposed to get one i think okay this is looking good for our battle potential are we gonna win this one for once can we win? like usually we can't even win one on one so winning against three other people would be insane i don't know if we can beat a ghost rare yet that black wing armor master is really good though descending lost star that's pretty amazing ivy shackles six scrolls morphtronic mix up Bela soldier morphtronic force field arcane apprentice and turret warrior we got another foil it's a super rare turret warrior wow i'm legitimately shocked about that ultimate rare that's insane 
That's good though. That's great. That's awesome. Can we pull another uh, ultimate rare? Can we pull three? I mean, we've we're the people who pulled three starlights out of one case. Did I just make a fart sound with my mouth while I said that? I was like thin made a fart. That was weird. Okay, we're making fart sounds now. Okay, dark tanker, but we did pull three starlights, so could we pull three ultimates out of one box? We got a Morphtronic map, got a mysterious triangle. Debris Dragon, another good one for Edison, again, and Trap Eater, that's a creepy card, okay, still a few packs left, okay, alright, I believe anything can happen at this point, we could get Ghost Rare 2 Ultimate Rares, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do, and what will it be that we can do, I don't know, I don't know what it'll be, we have a Black Wing Bore the Spear, Assault Mode Activate, Seed Canon, Descending Lost Star, Assault Mercenary, Ivy Shackles, Trap Eater, Assault Armor, and Morphtronic map. Very, very cool. I think we have like six packs. We still have like a quarter of the box left. Wow, we still got a lot left. A lot of potential. I think we're up to like, what, five, six foils? Still should be more in here, I think. Nightwing Sources, but it also had two ulti, so does that mean it's going to do something weird? Vengeful Servant, half or nothing. Morphtronic Rusty Engine, Super Solar Nutrient, Assault Mode Activate, Maiku the Magical Mist. This is another one. This is the card when I was on the podcast with, uh, now I'm forgetting the name. I'll pop it up on the screen. This is the card where they make, like, Summon Skull turn into the Lightning Guy. Select one Summon Skull or Thunder Monster you control, destroy all monsters your opponent controls whose defense is lower than the attack. So it's like it does the thing from the anime, and they randomly put it in a 5Ds pack. It's really weird. And then Assault Overload. Okay. All right. On to the next thing. Yeah, that's that's the card. That's the card. My Q the Magical Mist. I just couldn't place the name. I Look, I couldn't remember the name of the podcast. Can't remember the name of that. I just have a bad memory, guys. So we're that's why we have editing, you know? So I can just, you know, remember by later put, putting it up. <laughs> Yvonne Arrow, V-List. Morphtronic Force Field. Spell Reactor, Uri. We got the uh, Cross Sword. We got the Alien Ammonite there. What did I say? Oh, something like that. <laughs> Descending Lost Star added again. Okay, still four packs to go. Let's go. Can we pull that ghost rare? Let's see what we can do. Alright, not four, because that would be where the ghost rare would be. Assault mode activate, see cannon. Alright, we're waiting for that assault mode. Assault slash, Ebon arrow, flip flop frog. Metaphysical regeneration, verdant sanctuary, the uh, field spell. Assault armor, and Blackwing, Bora the spear. On to the next one, Crimson Crisis. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This pack is opening weird. That's a good sign. That's sometimes a bad sign, though. Summon Reactor SK. Psychic Sword. Salt Slash. Salt Overload. Fake Explosion. Flip Flop Frog. Telekinetic Power Well. Shining Silver Force. And Indomitable Gladiator Beast. We are down to the final two packs. I'm get Okay, now I'm starting to remember. I think this is the set that Yu-Gi-Mo hates because it seems like the ratios are not consistent. So we have five total foils right now. Two of them being ultimate rares, which is awesome. But we don't have a lot of other foils. We might only end up with five foils. Weird things have happened in this. Assault Mode Activate. Yeah, it's all coming back now. Nightmare, Dark Tinker, Trojan Gladiator Beast, Nightwing Sorceress, Telekinetic Power Well, Wall of Thorns for the third time, and Morphtronic Rusty Engine. So it looks like we are only going to get five or six foils. And also sometimes in these sets, you can pull like 10 or something. I thought this was in Absolute Power Force was when that happened. But maybe it's just this era was like... The quality control was off the wall. It's like you didn't really know what you were going to get, which is actually kind of exciting. I kind of like it, but I'm sure people would be very tilted if you didn't get a guaranteed ratio nowadays. But yeah, let's, let's just see what we get in the last pack. Ebon Arrow, Flip Flop Frog, Psychic Tuning. We've already done pretty well just because of the two ultimate rares, but not having a lot of foils is not great. Let's see what it is. Code A, Ancient Ruins. So we are going to end up with six, which is not too bad. That centering is really, really terrible, but it's kind of funny. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the other videos linked in the description if you guys want to see who won the box battle. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Another Tie Show, JT Cho, and Anima of the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.